Hey guys, it's Heather from The Raw Buzz. Check out my ebook, Raw Some Vegan Holidays, now available for purchase on my website. Enjoy the video! So Arnold Schwarzenegger was recently at a Paris conference a few days ago, and he suggested us to stop eating meat. This is exactly what he said. I think people will buy in to uh, maybe stop a day a week to eat meat or two days a week or something like that. You have to start slowly. You can't just convince people to stop eating meat altogether. It, it's a very uh, big challenge. Therefore, it doesn't mean that it shouldn't be done and you shouldn't be in that campaign, but it's a very hard thing to overcome. So what do you think of his philosophy telling people to cut down their meat consumption but not give it up cold turkey? I actually think it's a kind of a good strategy. You know, people can start someplace. We have to be happy with everyone's journey because I know that I started vegetarian and then four or five years later I went vegan. So it's all a matter of a journey. So coming from a guy who once said this <laughs> You hit like a vegetarian. You hit like a vegetarian. To coming to a guy who is now saying that we should not eat meat because of the environmental reasons just goes to show that people really can change if given the chance. Many backed Arnold's idea, but he also got a lot of beef for the recommendation. Not just because he spent most of the 70s eating any animal that was thrown his way, but also over his rich and famous lifestyle. One Twitter user posted, Jerk who took private jet to Paris says my steak is causing global warming. In 2009, two advisors from the World Bank released an analysis on human-induced greenhouse gases finding that animal agriculture was responsible not for 18% as the UN stated, but was actually 51% of all greenhouse gases. 51%. Yet all we hear about is burning fossil fuels. This devastating figure is due to clear-cutting rainforest for grazing, respiration, and all the waste animals produced. This makes animal agriculture the number one contributor to human-caused climate change. The number one contributor. The number one contributor. The former governor wrote a lengthy response to haters on his Facebook page in true Schwarzenegger fashion that reads in part, to use one of the four-letter words all of you commenters love, I don't give a damn if you believe in climate change. Raising animals for food consumes a third of all the planet's fresh water, occupies up to 45% of the Earth's land, is responsible for up to 91% of Amazon destruction, is a leading cause of species extinction, ocean dead zones, and habitat destruction. If you really want to stop climate change, you will give up meat and dairy because dairy eggs are very destructive to the environment as well. Cows, chickens still need to all be kept in farms where forest needs to be cut down, they need to be fed. Now, is Arnold Schwarzenegger actually a vegetarian? I have no idea. I've been looking all over the internet trying to figure out whether or not he is vegetarian himself and I cannot find any information. So if you know, write below and let me know. I'm curious. I can't figure out whether or not he is or if he's just recommending this. I think this is a little bit of a hype. I don't think Arnold is actually vegetarian, which is very unfortunate, um, but he is uh, telling people to not eat meat. So when Arnold was questioned if it would be difficult to grow muscles or bodybuild, he simply replied with the fact that he knows many of his friends that are vegetarian who are able to grow muscle very easily. You can get protein from vegetables and he recommends that as well. So there are many bodybuilders who are vegan. So you can see a lot of vegan bodybuilders and I will put in some clips of them now.
So it just goes to show that yes, you can grow muscle being a vegan and you can grow it quite easily. In fact, many people are going vegan because it helps with recovery times. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you haven't already yet, please subscribe. It only takes two seconds. Feel free to share this video with all of your friends or on your Facebook page, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye now.